Yo, yo, what's good, everyone? Welcome to my channel. I am a sage who rises. Today, I will be doing the sun, moon rising of fire signs. So, let's get into it. So, angels, what do we have for fire signs at this time? What do fire signs need to know? So, somebody came up with some type of idea. Well, you got an idea? Yeah. I'm saying that somebody, this was somebody's idea. Yeah, to schedule something, to come up with some type of plan. Yeah, to compromise with someone. So somebody is <clears throat> trying to create some type of plan, okay? So they can compromise or so that they can um, agree on something. Hmm. This could be a masculine, okay, who plant some shit. This person is now wanting to compromise something after starting some shit between two women. Yeah, this person is seeing that you are okay. But this person made a promise, you know, to some type of other female. And it's because of their loyalty to this female. And now this female could be needing this person's aid. So, hmm... So I'm saying that it was some dude idea to create some type of beef, okay? And now that this woman is okay, whatever promise they made, it got the other female out. Yeah, it's, somebody got evidence that somebody is lonely, that somebody is disappointed. Hmm, a reader? So let me see something real quick. Angels, why is idea here? For the fire signs, why is idea here? It was some type, it was so, whoever this person that came up with this idea, who created something, this is somebody who already sabotaged something with you. But now they're coming up with this idea to like build something with you or rebuild something after sabotaging something with you. They're trying to seem persistent. They're trying to work on it. Yeah. And I do see that this person is in this self-indulgent energy. I do see this person growing. But I'm also seeing that something is evolving. And because you're healing your inner child, you could be not wanting to deal with someone. And it's because they're not showing their true self. Yeah, this could be a girl that's wanting to talk to you. Mm. Why is schedule here for my fire signs? Yeah, somebody planned some shit. They organized this and they was trying to manage it. This man, whoever this man is, yeah. This man is now trying to like send some Cupid arrows your way. So it's giving love spell. This is somebody who created some type of plan with a girl. Who was a snake. And because this person is finding out that this girl is a fucking narcissist. They're now trying to do some type of love spell on you. And it's because they're having a long. They're having a hard time with moving on. Yeah. This could have been somebody that you was married to. Or somebody that you were in a relationship so long. That y'all can be common law married. Yeah. This nigga created all this shit. Now he want to compromise something. When it comes to an agreement. Yeah. What I tell you. This person is now wanting to compromise something with a third party after trying to seduce them. Yeah, but it's like you're telling this person, hell no, with acts. And it's because you're you're stopping the pattern. Yeah, somebody is trying to seduce you, a third party. And it's like you're breaking the patterns. You're telling somebody not today. And it's because this motherfucker wore too many masks for you. This person can now be wanting to talk after running from you. Yeah, after trying to run from a situation that they started, the fuck? Yeah. I'm saying that because you're you're showing up like this, you're showing up okay, stable, in harmony, being accepted, somebody is now, I like you. After trying to make you feel as though you want enough. This is somebody who wanted you to be frustrated in a relationship. They wanted you to have this lack of confidence. They wanted you to self-sabotage. And it's because of your abundant mindset. Yes. I'm saying that you need to separate. And welcome in new love. 
if you haven't separated. Yeah, because you made a promise to someone or a masculine made a promise to, to someone just so that somebody could need their help. Not realizing this, that you were really of alliance, that you really was. It's giving narcissists. Remember we said this is a girl with a snake? So he could have been a narcissist and she left his ass? Or she was a narcissist and he left her ass, however it go. This person made a promise and now they need your fucking help. Because you really was of alliance. Yeah, why is promise here? Yeah, this person is feeling, is feeling responsible because they made a promise to someone. Yeah, they made a promise. But something is coming to light. And this person can now be wanting to welcome in love. So, this is either somebody from your past. Or this could be like an ex, like a recent ex. Like y'all probably haven't been with each other for like two years, three years, a year. Something like that. You could have gotten a new relationship with somebody else. But it's like this other person that you made a promise to. Something is coming to light about them. And you could be opening up your heart, but you could be reminiscing about somebody from your past. That, you know, was chasing you. It's like you... You weren't really with the selling one down. That's how I feel. Like I could be talking to a masculine energy. You possibly could have had somebody chasing behind you in the past. You could be thinking about this person. And you could be wanting to get together with this person after something after something is now coming to light. Something is coming to light about somebody who you made a promise to. Yeah. Why is aid here? This is somebody who needed your fucking help. Look. This person only... This person... Pretended like they needed your help so that they could stab you in the fucking back. And you could be separated from this person now. Yeah, you could be separating from this person now. Yeah, this is somebody who's having a hard time moving on. That you could be in a common law marriage with or that you actually married too. Yeah, y'all got some type of home. Y'all share some type of home and shit with. It's like the tea is coming out about this person. How they had all these options, many choices. How they was trying to screen you along. How they was out here having these one night stands. There's about to be a separation. Because you could have helped somebody. And the person that you helped stab you in the back. Now you could be separating from this person. Yep. Why is alliance here? Yeah, you're realizing that somebody <laughs> was of alliance. But you chose somebody else or some shit like that. I don't know. Yeah. This person that you're reminiscing about. This person from your past. Yeah. Who was chasing you. I swear to God. This is somebody... <laughs> So say like you got married. Before you got married to somebody, you had somebody that used to chase behind you. Whoever that person is, you could be possibly reminiscing about this person. <clears throat> and you're realizing how mm, this motherfucker was the loyal one. The one who was chasing behind you. And the other motherfucker that you got in a connection with was the fucking narcissist. And now you could be bringing this relationship to an end. And healing your heart. But it's like you're healing your heart from toxic relationships or addictions that had you in an outdated, you know, mindset. And it's like you really bringing a relationship to an end to where it's no more second chances with this person. You know, period. So, what this look like, fire signs, is you could have chose somebody, got married to them and everything. And you're now realizing that whoever you were in a partnership with... It was a narcissist impact type of relationship where you care too much about this person. Yeah, it was like more of a girl with a snake. It was more of a empath narcissist paradigm. It's like somebody was charming you, using you, and you could have enabled this person. But now you could be setting boundaries to the point where it's the coffin. It's like you're in it to have brand new beginnings in your life. You're going through growth. You're going through change. And you're being liberated. Yeah, you're taking the time out to heal your heart from toxic relationships or addictions that had you in this outdated mindset. Like I said, it's the Grim Reaper. Like, the relationship is over. It's no second chances. You grew and you transformed your life. Period. I like that. That's good. So, let's see. So, angels, what we got for the fire signs at this time? What do the fire signs need to know? Yeah, we got dice game shooting. That was in a reverse. Yeah, we have you are the key. They lost it. 
You can't be everybody's good luck charm. Yeah, this person's time's ran out. Yeah, there is some type of child support mint, some child support payment that's late. This could be somebody who could be a Cowboys fan. So you got a Cowboys fan here, okay? You make this person want to leave the one they with and start a new relationship with you. This is somebody who feels like when they saw you, you was love at first sight. So let's confirm these. Let's see what's going on. So Angel, we ain't got to pay that no mind. So why is you are the key? They lost it. You can't be everyone's good luck charm. Yeah. This could be with someone who you said your farewells to. You already had your closure. And you're feeling empowered at this time. And it's because you lighten your load when you traveled. Yeah. Yeah, it's like you forgave someone. Yeah, it's like you reconciled with someone to forgive them. And this is what strengthened you. Yeah. I'm also seeing something is strengthening your career. Why is child support payment late? Yeah. I'm saying that somebody... I'm saying... Somebody was passionate about being late on their child support, man, okay? That's the answer. Yeah, they manifested this because you could be heavily invested in your talent and you can have some type of financial, you know, increasement and somebody could be grieving your confidence. So, yeah, know that you are protected, okay? So, it's giving, say like you have a child's father or a child's mother. It ain't got to just be your baby father who on child support. Women is on child support, too. So somebody is envious of the fact that you are talented and that you are investing in your fucking talents by your time. So they trying to be late on the child support, but you're protected at this time. Last cowboy fan here. This could be a cowboy fan. Yeah, this cowboy fan is wanting your forgiveness. Know that you will be protected during this reconciliation. Yeah, because somebody is wanting commitment with you. And it's because you bring them peace. They see you as a beauty. They see you as somebody they can trust. All right? You are also somebody with a willpower, so you're not easily stepped on. Somebody is realizing that as well. <laughs> somebody likes the fact that you're not easily persuaded, you know? Yeah, with the eight of ones, I could be talking to a Sagittarius, okay? Somebody could be wanting to communicate with you. So what's the real tea? Yeah, the real tea is the world chariot. You close out a karmic cycle with a fixed sign. Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, or an Aquarius. Chariot. And this is when you got your victory and success. Yep. We got the queen of wands. I'm saying that you sitting up pretty. Very confident. Very bold. And you're not letting fear stop you this time. Six of swords. I'm saying that you're moving on peacefully. And you're not letting nothing stop you. You're doing it with confidence. Why is the world card here? Yeah, you completed the karmic cycle. Yeah, the empress. So you could be a child's mother, empress. So if you are a masculine, you could be dealing with a Taurus. This can be your child's mother. I do see you closing out a, a karmic cycle with this person. King of Swords, cutting them off and being detached. Hangman, hey because this person tried to sabotage you. Nine of Swords, and they're feeling, you know, depressed now. Page of Cups, wanting to apologize now. Why is the cherry here? Also, if this is... Sagittarius, if this is your energy, I'm also saying there's a Cancer and a Scorpio here. Five of Pentacles, so you could be leaving out in the cold for once because of a partnership. But with the Sun card, something is being exposed. Judgment, that somebody is under judgment. Hey man, that they sabotage themselves. Nine of Swords, and now this person is going through sleep at night in anxiety. Page of Cups, wanting to apologize. Nine of Wands, after taking the post defense action tower to cause some type of destruction. Ace of Swords, that's the truth. Somebody did magic. Nine of Cups to receive wish fulfillment. King of Swords, and I see you detaching from this person. Two of Pentacles, because they could have juggled you with a Capricorn. Three of Swords, this was the Optimus Betrayal. Queen of Swords, yeah, this is somebody that's trying to be logic. This could be your baby mother. Well, you're needing to close out a karmic cycle with a Taurus to be a Zach. Yeah, this could be a Cowboys fan. Yeah, with the star, I'm saying that you're needing to heal. Three of Cups from these third parties. Eight of Pentacles who work together. Yeah, with an Emperor. So somebody... You got friends here. It's three women. One of them got black hair. One of them have silver hair, like old hair. And one of them have red hair. All three of these women, Eight of Pentacles, did some type of concussion over you. And with the star card, you need to heal from these third parties and their work that they did. Emperor, by calling back your energy. Four of Cups and rejecting them. 
King of Cups. Yeah, from your emotions. Hangman. So I'm saying that what you need to do is call back your energy and reject someone's offer. This can be a masculine or feminine. This can even be a kid. Yep, and stand ten toes down on your emotions. Hangman, because somebody is trying to sabotage you. Judgment, but you need to wake up. Sun card, because something is being exposed. Four of Wands about something that happened at a home. Queen of Swords with a leap of Gemini and Aquarius and the King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, there's a Queen of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Four of Wands who did something at a home. Judgment, and, and, and now people are awakening to what they did. Yeah, double, because somebody was obsessed. And now they're getting fucking karma. These lovers. So this was a couple. A Gemini, Virgo. Yeah, they was confident that they was going to be able to block you from love or from a partnership to a sword. These are people who saw you as a fucking target. So what's the outcome for the fire signs? Nine of Pentacles. Somebody going to want to be trying to come in and offer you something, but this is only going to try to slow you up. Ace of Pentacles. So somebody is coming in like they want to offer you something, but they are actually trying to slow you up. Ace of Pentacles because they see money coming in for you. Scrim card. This is somebody that's in their ego. Ten of Pentacles who you can have a family with. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. This person doesn't want to stop until they, you know, defeat you. Have you on the ground. They want you not to be able to get up. Page of Swords. This is somebody that's spying. Eight of Cups, and they're trying to see, have you walked away? Wheel of Fortune from your destiny. Moon, because they doing something on every full moon. Seven of Pentacles on your investments. Six of Wands, just to get some type of public recognition. Six of Cups. So this is somebody from your past who wanted to be seen in the spotlight. They wanted some flowers. So they was heavily invested in doing some moon magic to turn the wheel in their favor. This is definitely somebody who you could be in a partnership with. Yeah, they got in a partnership with you because they wanted to be able to kick their feet up. Knight of Cups, so they offer or, you know, ask you out. Knight of Cups, Five of Cups, but this person lost something. Nine of Wands, and they feel burnt out. Seven of Cups, after painting some type of picture, Four of Pentacles, because they made them miss an opportunity with a Capricorn. The Fool card, yeah, they want to have a brand new beginning, but with the Five of Swords, they played some type of mind games. Three of Pentacles with a group of people. Ace of Cups, and you're needing to listen to your intuition. Five of Pentacles, and leave somebody out in the cold. Death card, end it. Leave they ass out in the cold. Period. Mm -hmm. It's giving like... Mm, I don't even really... Yeah, it's like... Somebody is feeling guilty because they sabotage yourself. Yeah, because they sabotage themselves. Now they're in this lack, you know, doubt energy. Yeah, this is somebody that's in their self no energy. And they're clinging on to shit that's comforting to them. And you're needing to release them. Period. This is somebody who don't want to be, who don't want to get out of their self no energy. Yeah. I'm saying during the autumn, you transform. And because you transform, somebody is feeling guilty. And it's not in doubt type of energy now. Yeah. Somebody is spying on you. You know, investigating you and shit. It's a weirdo, bro. Yeah. Somebody took some type of action. Thinking that you was going to avoid someone. Yeah, this could be a Taurus or a Libra with Venus offer. So with this Venus opera offer you could have been dealing with a Taurus or a libra this person this person wanted to cause some type of avoidance or stalemate this is why this person took this action this is somebody that's in their self no energy and they clean there because that's their comfort zone this person is closed off you know guarded and resistant and it's because they have karma to play this is somebody who is not going to be stable they're not stable they're not in their north node and it's because they need to do some inner child healing